But anyway, my sister came last weekend and she and I were sorting through the boxes marked personal papers. And personal papers was everything we threw in when we were sorting through stuff that we didn't know what to do with. And they're so interesting going through this stuff. So I'm going to share some of it because we have only gone through one box. In 1973, when we lived in Israel, we spent the year in Israel, my father studied with a Sofer Stam. So he was trying to learn Jewish calligraphy and how to write the Torah. These are some samples of my father's work in that area. He learned how to make a quill pen and he showed us how to do that. I'm not sure. I don't remember if he was involved in making the ink, but he was definitely learning this ancient practice of creating uh, Jewish sacred texts. And one of the things he would do, because he was not uh, certified, I don't know what the certification process is, but he was not certified to write the Torah, but he did write Kitubot, which are uh, Jewish marriage, marriage certificates. So I knew he was doing that, and my father would do the calligraphy, and this is a photograph of one. And then my sister, Rachel, oftentimes would do the illustration. But what I didn't see is that he was doing some very interesting things. The oval has a different kind of text on it. And I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to show it to somebody more educated. But the outside perimeter, the square, is cuneiform. And I asked my sister, I said, what do you think it says in cuneiform? Because I... I I can't read cuneiform. And she said, it's probably a, a marriage certificate from ancient Babylonia. So I thought that was so interesting because these things, these little things are just popping up out of pieces of paper. 